This is your Alamo Sports Tiger Athlete of the Week Spotlight, brought to you by the Winter Circle. This week's athlete is Deontay Bynum of Tiger Basketball. First off, you guys had three straight overtime games, I think, there. You've had four this year. What, what has it been like for the team playing all these close games this year? We're like a second second half team, mainly, so we're, we've kind of just been pulling it out, getting close games. and. But more than anything, I mean, you guys you guys definitely have clutch in you. I mean, you, you make some shots when you need mm-hmm. to, whether it's you or Kai or Jason or Christian. You guys feel that you guys, when, when it's on the line, you, you can go out there and make it happen? Yeah, I'm, close games, at the end, I'm not nervous at all. I, I trust I trust Chris to shoot and Kai. And Jason is finishing around the rim a lot better than he was at the start of the season. And we're kind of just settling in and really getting used to getting used to how it is to be in those close games. Yeah, and you talk about a little bit there how much different this team is from game one at the season to now. Most of you guys hadn't played any varsity basketball. Now you've gone through a whole season. Do you guys feel the difference out there that, that you guys are a better team now? Definitely, and especially since we're like all coming in and we're not we're not just easing into it like how how most people would. We're kind of just getting thrown straight into the fire. So you could tell at the start of the season how we were nervous and definitely our first time playing, but we're settling in and getting used to how it is. What's the biggest difference for you personally? Do you feel like that you know it, it's different from the beginning to now? You talked about you know nervous maybe a little bit there, but it all seems like your offensive game is really starting to come on here towards the end of the season. It's at the start of the season. It was the nerves, and especially since how you said it was our first varsity games, and definitely just getting comfortable and um, get like settling into the games is instead of just like trying to trying to be perfect and impress everybody. Just you know, just worrying about yourself. What age did you start playing basketball at? Early, I was like three. Whenever we we joined the rec league, and me and my brother just got put into the the rec league, and we were always undefeated. We were undefeated every year with the the dark nights, and it was all of us, and it was my cousin. It was like kind of like a family team. And who was it got you started playing basketball? My dad mainly. Whenever I was younger, I didn't really want to play, but he, <laughs> but I got used to it, and I really did want to play after that. After he like kind of threw me into the rec league. Yeah. What's what's make you st- stuck with stick with the game though? I mean, obviously. The Bynum name is you know, synonymous with basketball in Alamogordo. What, what's, what made you want to continue being a basketball player? Mainly watching the NBA in college and stuff like that. And whenever I got a little older and I started going to the high school games and watching those guys play, even the middle school games, whenever it was Jimmy and all of them back at um, Mountain View, I really wanted to focus on basketball. Any other sports you're going to get involved in uh, this year? Mm, after basketball season, I'm going to do track and then um, going into the summer, we have a lot of AAU coming up with the Rebels. You excited about getting back to AAU basketball as well? I'm very excited because we're going to be going to big places like Cali and stuff like that. So, so I'm definitely ready for it. And you guys go up against big talent. That's obviously what's exciting as well, right? A huge competition. Well, you guys got two regular season games left, district tournament, and hopefully playoffs. We're uh, crossing our fingers for you guys to be able to make that happen. So, mm-hmm. Deontay, congratulations on being athlete of the week. Thank you, Charles. All right.